we have been in conversation with some of St. Paul's folks who've been here a long time, some folks who've been here a little while, and some who've grown up here and recently been confirmed, and just getting to hear uh, how God has been moving in the life of this community has been a gift to me and all those who've been getting to hear your stories of faith and faithfulness, and so thank you for being part of this series where we get to explore a little bit together in the context of a community gathering. Yeah, we're happy to be here. Yeah, great to be here. Thank you. So you have been, as a young person, claiming your faith in a particular way, having been recently confirmed. And I would love if you would be willing to share with us this morning some of what that has meant to you, uh, meant for you and how you made that decision to, to take that step. Yeah, of course. So I have a naturally loud voice, so I'm sorry if with the microphone it's too much. But yes, I was confirmed at the beginning of the summer on June 3rd, and that was a an amazing experience for me because, like Reverend Sarah said, I have been coming to St. Paul's for my entire life, and I really have gotten to grow up here. But the decision to be confirmed was a decision that I got to make for myself because having been baptized as a little baby, that wasn't something that I really had any control over. And so getting to be confirmed was really a chance for me to claim my faith in um, my own way and to have that kind of autonomy over my own experience with God. And so ever since then, I have really gotten to explore my faith in a new way. I've gotten much closer to God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and it's been great for me. Now you shared about some of the ways it felt like to grow up here when we were talking before, and I'm curious, um, as you were describing, so getting to try out different things, what that felt like? How have how you felt the, the community giving you space to be on that journey? Yeah, so I've definitely been involved in many different aspects of church throughout the years. I used to be in the choir. I've since discovered that that's not where my talents lie, but it's okay. Um, so I was in the choir. I've done some acolyting, reading. I help out with the Christmas pageant, which any kids in here, you should all totally be involved in that <laughs> um, because it's really fun. So I grew up being in the Christmas pageant. Now I help behind the scenes. And so I really have had so much space to get to discover what it means for me to be involved in the St. Paul's community, and the community has done such a great job of giving me that space to figure out where I do best fit in, like me finding out it's not in the choir, and instead I'm going to help out with other things. And it's been a great experience because I know that, that, that I'm not the only one who's gotten to experience that. And Everyone here really is so supportive and welcoming of anyone who wants to be involved in any way. And everyone also understands when you don't particularly fit in helping in a certain way as well. So it's just been really great. Thank you for sharing. What has it felt like to watch your daughters grow up and to get to see them? What have been some of your favorite experiences as a family about? Oh, <clears throat> it's, it's been amazing. Um, my first experience with the Episcopal um, Church was attending um, services at Palm Sunday in, at National Cathedral with my wife Sarah when we were in law school. And then we first came to St. Paul's here in Burlingame on Easter Sunday with Grace when she was almost one. So from the beginning, it's just been such a welcoming place and we really feel as though the community has embraced our family. So some of my memories are similar to Grace, the pageant, um, even songs, and Christmas at St. Paul's just uh, is a wonderful time of year. Okay, wonderful. Well, I'm looking forward to getting to experience those all for the first time. I recognize you too had a, a, a faith milestone uh, in the past few years that is, has been a powerful one for you. Would you be willing to share about that? Yeah, of course. Yes, um, I was baptized here in the, um, in the garden at St. Paul's in January of 2021. And as I said, I did not grow up in the church, um, but my wife first introduced me to it. And, um, you know, after 10 years of kind of 
sitting in um, the pews and um, listening to um, the words. Uh, yeah, I just felt compelled and I was <clears throat> felt so grateful um, to have taken that step in my own faith journey. I'm curious, what are some of the things you feel most excited about in this new season of life as a confirmed uh, person in faith now? And as you get to think about your life ahead of you, what are some of those things that you're looking forward to or most, most interested in? I'm really looking forward to getting to welcome even more new members to the community here because, like we were talking about, it's a season of community, like you're saying in your sermon, and I'm just so excited to get to welcome new people into all of that and getting to watch them do what I did and what I'm sure you've all done, figuring out how they best um, want to interact with their own faith. And I think that that's really special. I especially love when young people like myself or even younger than me get to have this experience. And that's part of why I love helping out in the pageant so much because that's when you really get to see how a lot of these kids do interact with their faith. It might not be obvious from observing them in service, but when they get to really be immersed in the story of the birth of Jesus and all these things, you really see that they are thinking about it and that each one of them is so unique and different in the way they choose to do that. Thank you. Any closing thoughts about things you're most hopeful and excited about as you think about your family's journey of faith together? Yeah, I'm just happy that we're all together again. <laughs> and um, Zoom was great but it's the space is an amazing space and uh, it's it's just wonderful to be together again with the community. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you for being here with us this morning and thank you all for being part of this community gathering. We are grateful to be in this place.